Thank you for choosing Lake Powell Resorts and Marinas for your houseboating adventure. In this video, we'll discuss how to operate your houseboat and make the most of your experience at Lake Powell. We're privileged to operate within the Glen Canyon National Recreation Area in conjunction with the National Park Service. In order to protect and preserve this incredible resource for generations to come, everyone must do their part. At the end of your trip, you can dispose your trash and recycling at our marinas. Our recycling containers are divided into compartments for cardboard, plastic, glass, and aluminum. High winds are always a concern on Lake Powell. It's important to ensure that all items on board are secured to avoid the chance of unwanted items being blown into the lake. It's everyone's responsibility to keep these beaches as clean, if not cleaner, than they found them. Take time to walk the beach before departing, gathering any trash, food scraps, etc. The national parks are our parks. Generations to come deserve the opportunity to experience them just as we have. Let's get started with the operation of your houseboat, the 46-foot expedition. In the rare case of a fire on board, your houseboat is equipped with three fire extinguishers. They are located on the front deck, in the kitchen, and the aft deck. The procedure for a boat fire is save. Save the people, alert authorities, ventilate the area, extinguish the fire if possible and safe to do so. If the fire extinguisher must be used, use the pass method. Pull the pin, aim at the base of the flames, squeeze the handle, sweep back and forth. Your houseboat is equipped with emergency PFDs located under the bed in the bedroom. Your vessel is equipped with enough personal flotation devices for its specified maximum capacity while underway, which is 12 people. These are designed for emergency use only. Additional PFDs for children or water sports can be borrowed from the marina before you depart. Those who are under the age of 13 must wear a PFD at all times when outside of the cabin and when the vessel is underway. The throw ring is located on the aft deck. This emergency flotation device is to be used in the event a person falls into the water. There is also a throwable cushion located with the PFDs that can be used as an emergency flotation device. Carbon monoxide poisoning can be deadly. Symptoms include nausea, dizziness, and excessive fatigue. To avoid carbon monoxide entering the cabin, keep doors and windows closed when the engines and generator are running. Should the CO detectors give an alarm, turn off engines and generator, open doors and windows, move all people to an outdoor area such as the beach or the top deck until carbon monoxide has dissipated. Since cell phone service is limited on Lake Powell, your houseboat has been equipped with a marine band radio. The power button is located on the top left of the radio. The knob is turned clockwise to increase the volume and the opposite to decrease. The up and down arrows are how you select which channel to communicate on. Channel 1 connects you with the boat rentals marina you departed from. This channel should be used for troubleshooting, operational questions, and non-emergency assistance. Channel 2, Marine 16, is the channel for National Park Service. This is an emergency-only channel and should only be used in emergency situations. Be sure to speak clearly and slowly so the operator on the other end can understand your situation. The breaker panel is the control center for the electronics on your houseboat. It can be divided into three sections. Items that can be used with the house batteries only, items that can be used with house battery inverters, and items that require the generator to be used. On the bottom right of the panel, you will see the rotary switch which determines if your boat is on shore power, generator power, or off. The off position still allows you to use the house batteries and inverters for certain items. When the breakers are flipped, the illuminated breakers are on and powered using the house batteries. The lights, water pumps, water heater, furnace, 12-volt outlets, refrigerator, stereo, and helm accessories are all DC-powered from the house batteries. The stove, microwave, and stereo can operate with the inverters as long as the inverters are on and the house batteries are charged. To start your generator, first locate the blower. Run the blower for four or five minutes to remove exhaust fumes from the generator compartment. Be sure to turn the blower off when you are ready to start. Next, locate the start-stop for the generator. 
Hold stop for 5 seconds to prime, then press start. Now that the generator is running, ensure that AC breakers are off. Loading the generator can cause the generator to die. Once all AC breakers are off, switch the rotary switch from off to generator. Flip the desired breakers to on to use them. The HVAC system, kitchen and cabin outlets require the generator to be running to operate. To shut down the generator, first make sure AC compressor and air conditioner are off. Then switch the rotary switch from generator to off. Hold the stop button until the generator shuts down completely. The inverter remote shows you how much power your house batteries are storing and allows the inverted items on the breaker panel to operate. With the generator on, the remote should read charging. With the generator off, the remote should read inverting. If the reading drops below 11 volts, you will need to run your generator to recharge the batteries. Generally, you should expect to run your generator for six to eight hours each day depending on usage. The kitchen and bathrooms on your houseboat have two faucets. The larger faucet is lake water. The smaller faucet is fresh water. Only use this faucet for drinking. The appliances in your kitchen can be ran without the generator as long as your batteries are charged. If departing from Waweep, your refrigerator is electric and will take two hours to cool completely. If departing from Bullfrog, your refrigerator runs off propane and will take five to seven hours to cool completely. Do not load a warm refrigerator for risk of food spoilage. Underneath your sink, you will find a few important items. Mice occasionally find their way on board. If you notice signs of mice, use the traps to catch them. You will also find a hose or fitting for your wastewater pump out. There are several remote pump out locations on the lake and you will need this fitting to self pump. Your pump out valves are located on the port side of your vessel. You have also been supplied with a bottle of Cronin. This eco-friendly chemical assists in breaking down waste material in the holding tanks. Put two ounces of this solution down one toilet and one sink each day. Air conditioning system should not be set below 70 degrees as this could freeze the system and render it inoperable. To use the furnace, make sure your propane is on and the furnace breaker is on. Your television, DVD player, and speaker system are all inverted and can run on battery power. You have separate remotes for each system. The speaker system has the ability to play via radio transmission or aux cord. Your vessel is equipped with one bathroom. Inside is a marine head, which is similar to a common household toilet. It is important to note that only human waste and the provided toilet paper are to be flushed down the marine head. Failure to lift the lever up and close the valve can result in an overflow of the holding tank. The aft deck is home to several important features, one being the swim ladder. Make sure that motors are off and have been off for at least 10 minutes before swimming near the vessel to avoid the risk of carbon monoxide poisoning. At the rear of the vessel, you will find the location of your motor's out drives. If you are renting out of Bullfrog, your vessel only has one motor. To trim the motors, use the up-down switch on the side of the motor. The propellers of the vessel are very dangerous and can cause serious injury. Always ensure motors are off before swimming or inspecting the motors. On the aft deck, you will find the fuel caps for refueling. The circular cover on the port side houses the motor's fuel tank cap. The lid below the fire extinguisher houses your generator fuel tank cap. The large hatch on the starboard side of the vessel houses the generator. The generator has an auxiliary start identical to the start inside the houseboat. Your vessel also has a lake water shower on the back deck. Never attempt to jump from the top deck of your houseboat. This unsafe behavior can result in serious injury. When using the slide, make sure the slide is very wet before using. You can turn the lake water pump on and open the valve on the slide pump or pour a bucket of water down the slide before each use. The helm is the driving center for your vessel. Your vessel has several gauges, two keys and two throttles. The left gauges, key and the left throttle are referring to the left or port motor. The reverse is true for the right or starboard motor. For reversing, a backup camera has been installed for your convenience. Before starting, walk to the back deck to ensure your motors are trimmed down in the driving position and ensure no one is in the water. Once in neutral, you can turn the port and starboard keys. This vessel will beep at you as it is asking you to take command. 
To take command at the helm, press the command button twice. When the white lights run solid, you are ready to turn the key again to start the motors. Now that your motors are running, check your gauges to see that they are operating. To move both motors into forward, slide each throttle forward. This is a forward idle. The farther you depress the throttles forward, the faster you will go. Before shifting into reverse, always pause in the neutral position to prevent damage to your motors. To slow down quickly, you will need to use the reverse. Most houseboats require several complete turns to turn the motors from port to starboard. Take time to learn how many turns your vessel needs to completely change direction. Backing up your houseboat can be a very dangerous process if done incorrectly. Ask another person to spot for hazards on the back deck. Ensure the vessel is untied on all sides and that the shore power cord is detached from the boat. Alert boaters around you that you are backing up by depressing the horn. One long blast followed by three short blasts. Use your backup camera and verbal cues from your spotter to reverse safely. While underway, monitor your gauges. 3500 RPMs is optimal for fuel efficiency. When in marked wakeless areas, you should travel at no more than 1000 RPMs. Lake Pal is full of submerged hazards. Focus and attention to detail are essential for the captain. Lake Pal has a buoy system that is informational, precautionary, and can be used for navigation. White buoys mark some of the common hazards such as rocks, shallow areas, entrances to canyons, or wakeless areas. Red and green buoys mark the main channel of the submerged Colorado Riverbed. When heading up lake, the red buoys mark the right side of the channel, the green mark the left. You will need to park your houseboat on a beach each night or for the entire length of your trip. Locate a beach that is plentiful in sand, is free of obstructions such as submerged rocks or logs, and is not too shallow. When the vessel has made contact, accelerate in forward for a few seconds to secure the vessel. The captain will stay at the helm to ensure the vessel stays straight, especially in windy conditions. Your anchors, shovels, and anchor lines are located on the bow or in the bow hatches. The anchor holes should be dug at a 45 degree angle from the rear of the boat. The holes should be two to three feet deep and well clear of the water's edge. Place the anchor in the hole with the teeth pointing down and towards the houseboat. Secure the anchor line to the anchor. Bury the anchor in sand and wet with buckets of water for a tight seal. Larger houseboats are equipped with four anchors. The second anchor set should be placed at a 60 degree angle from the rear of the vessel. Once anchors are buried, toss the lines to someone on the top deck where they can walk the lines around the uprights on the top deck and bring them down to the aft deck. Remove excess slack from the line and secure to the cleats using the cleat hitch knot. Never attempt to swim the anchor lines to the rear of the boat. The water of Lake Powell can fluctuate rapidly. Check the status of your anchor lines twice a day. Failure to adjust your anchor lines and beaching position can result in getting stuck or serious damage to the houseboat. The house batteries and propane are housed on the bow. The valve on the top of each tank is used to open or close the tank. Notice that your propane tanks are separated by a flow valve. If you run out of propane, switch the flow direction of the valve to use the other tank. The grill is propane powered. Be sure that the propane is on before starting and when grilling is complete, ensure propane is turned off. The bow of your houseboat is equipped with a boarding ramp to get on and off the vessel with ease. Before leaving the beach, be sure to put the ramp up in the correct position to avoid damage to the vessel. The provided cooler is ideal for storing additional food products. If the refrigerators are not cooling quickly or if weather is especially hot, use this cooler to store perishable items such as meats and dairy. When departing a beach, first take time to scour the beach for trash or forgotten items. Dig up each anchor, remove lines, and stow on the bow. Reverse off the beach. If the boat is not moving, run the motors in reverse while turning one direction for 10 to 15 minutes. Turn the motors in the opposite direction and repeat the process. When you arrive back to the marina, your first stop will be the fuel dock. 
If you are uncomfortable piloting yourself in, use channel 1 on your radio to request a pilot. After refueling, you will move to T-Dock. Remove all trash, strip linens, and remove all personal belongings. A staff member will be available to check you in, collect your fuel receipt, and sign off on all paperwork. Place all completed paperwork and your final fuel receipt in the express checkout box. This concludes the instructions for your houseboat. We recommend downloading this video to your device so you can reference it when you are out on the lake. In addition to this video, your houseboat's manual is an excellent source for information about your vessel and its various systems. On behalf of Lake Powell Resorts and Marinas, thank you and enjoy your trip.